Okay, here we are at Stronghold Junction. We're not going to spend uh, much more time here because I still have more band to show you. That's this, another B junction. Well, don't worry, it's the last one. I have one more place to take you on the band. At least one more, it's one of the P junctions, anyway. Here we are at the tower. Now, there's a pretty specific reason why I built this. You see, in the olden days, the height limit was 128 blocks. But they changed that recently. And so, I was going to build this originally all the way up to 256, but uh, we started not being able to see stuff at a certain point. So, I decided I would stop at just above 128. We are at a height of like 134 here. Let's see what we can see. See here's the fine a tundra one by the bit. And the forest where we just came. And we can't really make out the real life from here. A bit high. Let's see if there's anything else over this end. Nope, nothing really. If you're in the same biomes. So I'll really put them down one. I put these at every 16 blocks. A little bit closer. You can see the bottoms on the beginning. Take a look over here, you can see the real one. I'm going to set my chance to see here at the ground. I have a sheet on top of a tree over there. Weird. Anyway. Down the more platform. Yes, that is a sheep on top of the tree. Sometimes that happens. Of course, we look just above ground level here. There's a pig on top of the tree. And here's where you get to be interested, but we're going to skip ground level because well, we'll spend most of our time there. And instead, we're going to go down the pit. Alright, now there's a bit of a precarious sludge here. But if you take a look here, you'll notice that you can't see all the way down. 
Okay. Uh, but take a look, there's a, a band of dirt here. You notice that this was, um, this is built on a hillside. I'll take you around to the other side. There. See that? This was actually built into a hillside. There's some coal there. There's a special rule for at least part of this where you, I can't mine anything that I find because that would, uh, that would disrupt the uh, shaft itself. So any holes that you do see were there when I got there. Further down. Well, there's not much dirt, it's mostly stone. You go up the side here. There's some iron. Again, not getting it. You can start to see the bottom of the shaft. And uh, some coal down there. And it looks like there's looks like we get through a steel cave soon. If you want to drop. Oh, look at this. See this? This is a cave right here. I did mine this cave except for the bits that are intersected with the uh, pits. And look, a mine shaft. We crossed through a mine shaft. There are more coal. Even more, and there's more of the cave over there. I got that too. Go down. That's the mine shell. To the next level. Oops. There we go. Ooh, and look. Looks like we pushed a lava lake too down at the bottom there. We're just above that. We can See a mine shaft right there. Okay, put it about there. Yeah, I'm going to hold the dirt. Nothing unusual. And lastly, when we go to the bottom, I actually did start to mine here a little. So, uh, you know, this is somewhat irregular. There's redstone, there's iron, and there's but with the particles on the floor, what is up with that? I can't figure that out. And then there's bedrock. That's what this stuff is. Bedrock. You can't figure it out no matter how hard you try. And look, it's dark up here, probably because of all these particles. Uh, we hit a gravel pocket here. Redstone is a zero time light. I found some diamond over here, but uh, I think I'd do that as soon as I could. Okay, and for our trip up, there's this thing I learned how to do. If you take us up to the ones in the pits. Oops. By the way, the bottom of that pit was at, uh, was at level uh, 6. The top of the tower, 134. And here we are. Back at good old fashioned ground level again. Okay. So let's go back to Stronghold Junction. And you're going to see why it's named. Well, I think we can guess that. Actually, no, strike that. We're not going to Stronghold Junction just yet. There's still a bit of a T junction that we haven't yet covered. No, don't worry, though. We'll get to Stronghold Junction soon. 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, the fancy the jungle bunny. There's a reason I like the fact that uh, that when he hits an animal, it runs away. Yep, here we are. Another harbor. Now I could go up further along the band, but uh, I would have just been pushing things because, well. There's just more ocean beyond that. It's not as high. It's still. Anyway. Well, I understand. I guess. Yeah. Which is where it would be good sense to put it on the sign. I call it Stronghold Harbor. So why is the word stronghold popping up so much? If you guess in the first you don't count, you probably figured that already. <laughs> How many is it that these farm animals can't stay off our tracks? I told you all this is Stronghold Junction, and well, as you probably guessed, this is where the stronghold is. This is uh, where the stronghold that I first found was in the So anyway, here's, for those of you who don't know, there's a way to find the stronghold. You need Eyes of Ender. You start throwing. If you throw an eye of ender, it will drift towards the nearest, technically it will drift towards the nearest end pool. And keep doing that and follow it each time. Now there, there is a risk that the end, the eye of ender will disappear back at the end. But you should have known that when you throw a new one, so to speak. So, what you end up doing is uh, follow the direction of the eye of ender until eventually the eye of ender will turn back on itself. It will go the opposite direction. Once it does that, that is approximately where the old portal is. And you're in a general location of the stronghold, so if you start digging down, you'll eventually get to the stronghold. And what I've done here is I've uh, made a rail line that 
is down under the water to where the stronghold is. Yeah! Okay, that's good. But here we are at the stronghold. There are some, uh, some jail cells. I've been down here a while. I mean, I remember the you know, a chest. I usually raid those. A bed. Well, when you fight the Ender Dragon, you're going to get killed, and, killed, and you'll need to reset your spawn point. So that's why that's there. Let's see where else. How about over here? If you make a left, not a left. Another left. Ooh, look at this. An end portal room. And look. There it is. But it is the end. Creepy, ain't it? Yeah, we're not gonna go to the end. But take a look. Lava pools. I wasn't able to preserve the end room in the last world tour, but I managed to do it here. Where I'm standing, that's where silverfish usually spawn from, but I killed the silverfish spawner. Alright, let's see if there are any other destinations in the stronghold to show. The eating's really going to be a lot in here. But most of the stronghold probably is down this level. Look around here. Ah, oh, look at this. There used to be a zombie dungeon down here. Actually, there used to be several of them. Down there. Let's see. There's another sort of a stairway there. Maybe that's horrors. If you see it up down here, go back up. I'm going to show you guys the library. And here's where a cave has intersected with a stronghold. You can hear running water because around here there is. A fountain. The room of the fountain. Here, here it is. See? Just water blocks on top of the pillar. You go up here. Look at that. It's a library. Let me see if I can get in. Yeah, here we go. This is a big library too. It's got two levels. And a ton of spider webs. And I'm negotiate my way to the back here. There's a damn caught, I'm caught. Oh. There we go. Now look. Those chests, by the way, are empty. There's one here. There's another one there. Like I said, I usually wait. These are just some of the rooms that you can find in the stronghold. I mean, there's the room with, uh, with a pillar and four torches on it. There's a sort of a wooden room with Boxes in it, but uh, there's just one chest. Ooh, here's one of the things I was just talking about. Put on torches and people. Weird way these torches are. This one's not even connected to anything. A little quirk there. But, uh, anyway, like I said, the wooden room. It's. Um, I think it's supposed to be a storage room. I've only ever seen it once. But I 
Let's just get in there. I haven't seen enough of this stronghold, so let's go back to Stronghold Junction. That we are. Okay, so our, our next destination uh, will be going there via the base anyway. And the uh, next destination could be our last because, well, I figured that, uh, that the strong, that thing in the stronghold had sort of a sense of finality to it. You see, I did defeat the Ender Dragon. But, defeating the Ender Dragon was a monumentous occasion. So much so, that I decided to immortalize it. Now we're 
Before we go any further, this particular junction is sort of a combination of the last two designs. It's uh, it, it's enclosed, but it's also a lot um, a lot more. I also efficient. I call it Dragon Station. Why? Well, you'd know if you um, if you saw the first video, yeah, my first world tour. I mean. But those of you who haven't, just hang on for the ride. Okay, folks, listen to this. Here we are at the Ender Dragon Memorial. A place that I've built in dedication of the Ender Dragon and said Ender Dragons with beats. So this area represents the range that the egg can teleport. Well, what egg? It's a thing on display in the middle there. See, that is the dragon's egg. You get it when you defeat the end dragon. It's kind of hard to get there. Because, well, when you click it, it teleports. So you have to sort of dig under it and uh, click that. This area, I was originally going to have it so to click the egg and teleport it around here. This is this is sort of the range that the egg can go, but I decided not to because it'll be a bit risky. A risk of losing the egg. So we've got three rooms. Here's the first one. By the way, there is a stone in the end. There's a block of it in the museum of rare articles. The way to the end is 12 eyes over lava. 12 pearls, plus 6 rods. He represents the way, uh, what you need to um, open the end, actually the end of the end. And then here, there's something about the end itself. The end. I want to do the sea in a door. It's sort of an inversion. Of um, of the other one, you know, the nether, because the nether is an enormous cave. The end is just the one island floating in space there. And lastly, how about once the dragon has been smoked, higher senses briefly shown. I don't want to give that one away. Because uh, I figured whoever defeats the Ender Dragon ought to see that for themselves. Well, people, it's been, it's been nice touring this world with you. I'm glad you stayed for it. I'll see you all later.